In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Lens Pack from Sugar Effects. Lens Pack is a collection of enhancing tools and deformation plugins that will make your video clips stand out from a different perspective. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but these effects work in Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects as well. They are located in Video Effects, Sugar Effects Lens Pack. First, let's take a look at Distorium. In its default state, you can see that Distorium creates a unique 3D distortion of the footage. If I go to the main setup area, there is a drop-down menu called Selector. This menu has 34 built-in distortions that this effect can do to your footage. Let's take a look at a few of these. An asterisk next to one of the numbers is a polite note from Sugar Effects saying that this distortion takes a little more horsepower than the rest, so it might take a little while longer to render. I like number 23, as its geometry looks good with my city building's footage. I'd like to make this a transition effect to the next clip. The Auto Animate checkbox is checked, so it's doing the animation automatically. If unchecked, I could do it manually with keyframes in the distortion menu. But I like things to be easy, so I'll keep it checked. In the animation menu, I'll change my begin time so the animation begins about 4 seconds into the clip. I'm going to uncheck complete so it doesn't complete the animation back to its beginning state. It will stop at its full distortion. Under the distortion menu, I'm going to add to the 3D effect by adding some tilt to the animation. I'll change the tilt drop down menu to down. I'll animate the tilt factor slider so the tilt starts a little later. Distorium generates an alpha channel, the area that's currently black. I'll move this clip up a track and move the next clip underneath it so they're composited together. Plus, on the Motion tab, I'll add a very slight drop shadow and motion blur to add to the realism. I'll finish the transition with a quick fade out of the clip into the next. Next, I'd like to show you Loop. I've created a text overlay. I'll drop the Loop filter on it. You'll see a magnifying glass appear, and that's exactly what Loop does. It creates different magnifying lenses for your footage. If I go to the main setup, you can see that I can choose all different styles of virtual glass under Loop Style. It even places a handy icon below it so you can see what's chosen. I'm just going to go with the standard magnifying glass for this application. I'd like to animate the position of the glass so it goes over my text. I'll slightly rotate the glass like one would hold it with their hand. I'll check the Make Keyable button, which will make transparent whatever is not in the glass. I'll drop the Cheap Lens filter on my third clip with the preset Glaring Reflection, which adds a cool look to the footage. The other effects in Lens Pack include Horizon Line, which gives you a straightening tool to easily make your footage follow the horizon line that you determine. And Optico, for those times when you need to add or remove the spherical distortion caused by the normal use of wide-angle lenses. Sugar FX Lens Pack will add some dramatic special effects to your footage, plus some useful utilities. FX Factory offers a trial period. This is a great set to try out. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, 
And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.